Agate, I have done as you asked. The imposter is dead. He was working with De Ferrer. Hmm. What else have you learned? Only... that he would have forced you out of hiding. Let us be thankful it did not come to that. If it had our brotherhood... Well, let us not dwell. You have destroyed the hornet's nest in the bayou. At least for now. De Ferrer will have his day. Senorita. Bonsoir. I'm a friend of Captain Dominguez. Is he on board? <laughs> at this hour, El Capitan is at the tavern. Where else? Thank you. Farewell and adieu to your poor Spanish letters. Farewell and adieu to your letters of Spain. Spain is the only thing I am. I am Carlos Capitan. Dominguez. We meet again. Do we? All three of you look familiar. <laughs> but you're all welcome back to my cabin. I've manhood for... I don't think... Or we can consort right here! <laughs> what do you know about Rafael Joaquin de Ferrer? I'm afraid he's not invited. <laughs> What's your business with him? He pays for transport to and from New Orleans. That's all I do. Transport the things and get paid. Things, paid. Transport, paid. Back and forth and forth and back. What is he doing? Why New Orleans? <laughs> I do not know. Senor de Ferrer is a very secretive man. <laughs> Thank you for your time, Capitan. <laughs>
Aveline, out and about as always. But home to rest now, Papa. Monsieur Blanc tells me you do a great service to my business. To our business. For it will be your husband someday. Oh, Papa. You know I should sooner mind my own business than marry. As stubborn as your mother, Jeanne. If only she could see you now. But she can't. No. But... Perhaps you are old enough now. It is not much. One page. But it is from her diary. You should have it. Mama. Thank you, Papa. Papa, he surprised me. I dared not interrupt. Your music is breathtaking. I dare say you could stop a man's heart. You flatter me too much, Papa. The credit belongs to my teacher, 